Do you know, and let me tell you something else. You know that most of your brothers aren't like that. Most of the brothers, we come to the park, yeah. we talk and we converse normally. No, nicely. but I want to say this, even if one of them, if I get news, or if Ali gets news, yeah. or if Hashim gets news, or Mansour, any of us get news, that there are Muslims in this park that are causing people like Aaron, Rabbi Aaron and Rabbi Yoel. No, no, Aaron, no Rabbi. Okay, no problem. He's Don't being humble. He's being humble. <laughs> it's a pleasure, bro. No, no, no. I'm, I'm telling you this. These police, these useless officers here that come into the, that come into the park at 40 miles an hour and run over children, almost. Honestly, he ran it, almost run over a child. These fools, they are not going to be the ones who are going to have words with you, let's say. It's going to be us that have words with you. As the Muslim community, we will have words with you, yeah. and we will boycott you, and we will embarrass you, and, it's upon you and we will no, no, honestly, because no, it's, it's upon them to defend yes. it. If, if any of you guys are here and you see hostility, it's upon you to defend them. Yeah, okay, it's upon you because I would feel the same. But if I'm in the Jewish community, like we went to Golders Green yesterday, okay, it got a little bit hostile. Some remarks were made, okay. I would expect, and I'm sure if you guys were there, thank you. If you was there, you would have said, oh, hold on a second, yeah, even whatever it may be. So, brothers and sisters, very important. Since we got that out of the way, are you it, satisfied? Surely am. If whenever I see you, I'm satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Yeah? I could make a few in your yeah. jokes and, I, and, and stuff I, like and that. I, and I promise to you, I, I promise to you, I am not saying these words because of cameras here and yeah. to make it so. Oh, oh, I swear to God, I am saying this because I genuinely believe it. And if I was here, I would be on your side. I'll make it very clear. Thank now, you. coming. And, on, and, and on that, sorry, yeah, just to add it. No, you never interrupt me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, "Unsur akhaka zaliman aw mazluma," that that aid your brother. Give victory to your brother, meaning the Muslim brother, whether they are the oppressive or the oppressed. And, the, and they said, how would you, how would you, um, how would you uh, give victory to someone who's the oppressor? He said that by stopping the oppression. So, listen, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had very, very cordial relationships with Jewish people. Wallahi, even after wars took place. No, even when the Jewish man died. Even after do? wars took place, and whilst wars were taking place, he would have cordial relationships with them never and i'm saying this now confuse a harbi a, a combatant and a, you know advocate for the zionist movement some a hostile person with a jewish if we see that you do that and i'm saying this again we will be the first ones to be against you no young person here can ever look at a jewish person and say this is a, well, let's go get what do you mean you wouldn't be doing that if you knew that he would if they had something on them, if they if they, if they were not outnumbered, yeah. don't act ca cowardly. This is cowardice. Don't don't. Yeah. Yeah. All right, where yeah. do you think this all this hatred is coming from? Obviously, there's a source to it. But it's of course, all around the world. Yeah. Where do you think this? Um, sort of we'll, we'll come to this, brother. But I wanted to yeah, engage with the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We're going to ask you a question at the end. Yeah. Remind us. We'll have yeah. questions. But what we want to do is the, the interview. So the yes. question on the matter of Israel and Palestine. Yes. Because look, even if you're pro, we want to have a discussion. So hijab, because right. this is. The, Let's it, start, Mohammed hijab. I want to ask you. I started the discussion with your with your. We're going to make it fast because I'm going to run. But the simple thing is. Come and close. I spoke to the Sheikh before. I said the main point is we have to speak to each other and not about each other and not focus on the media and focus, as I said, to YouTube, all our followers, because then you'll have the full comments and everyone badging their own side or on Twitter, you just talk about yourself. As long as we speak to each other, we talk to each other, and you hear the, the other side, then we agree far more than we disagree. And we can do this here. Absolutely. They will Absolutely. not do they will not be doing it over there right now, okay? For this reason. This this is our do you know what we're looking at here? could be something which changes societal momentum across the world because we have to bring back a state of normality and peace honestly i'm not just saying that for as lip service I'm, i mean this because based on how this conversation goes honestly it can make a difference between life and death someone some zionist or some <laughs> terrorist or whatever maybe might get uh, angered and aroused and then start doing something which in the name of judaism or zionism or islam or whatever it is that will, will take us 10 years back so what i'm saying is i just want to ask you now what is your view on the issues? Uh, just generally, I'll, I'll open question. I'm not an, gonna, an yeah. open question is yeah. simple. Condemn violence, condemn death, and it should hurt me and you for every innocent person, or even a combatant, because they only combatant because they see no future. They don't understand the other side. They don't understand each other. And, and if they would only talk and find a way to work each other's problems out and understand each other's aspirations, then as we have spoken many times in the past, we'd understand each other and see how much we would really agree. And I'll take it a step further. I think that the fact that there is this belief in the world that Jews and Muslims can't get along is an imperialistic thing. 
from colonialist power like Britain, who brought it to us to believe that dividing and conquering people is the way forward. Do you believe, do you agree then that as the UN uh, says and uh, Human Rights Watch and all of these organizations that the actions of the Israeli government have not only been disproportionate but they have been catastrophic for the people of Gaza and they have been unwarranted in the sense that the damage that has been done has, has been something which really can't be uh, undone and unfortunately has caused more problems in the Middle East in that area. To what extent would you agree with that? There's, there's a lot of questions in this one. There's yeah. a lot, a lot of questions to, <laughs> right. to, to get to put together. Right. The simple concept is, if we're going to talk about the what's happening now, without going into the reason cause behind it, then it is, yes, to look at the current form, if you're going to look simply at numbers, or you're going to look at the reason, then yes, it is something that is bad. We no one wants a house blown up, no one wants even a dog hurt in the side, not in Gaza, not in Jerusalem, not in Al-Quds, no way. Definitely, everyone would agree with that statement. So, uh, uh, but yeah. if you're going to go yeah. back and we're going to take it a step backwards and yeah. we're going to just go first take facts and let's work with that and work our way forward Fine. and then work on our aspirations to understand the two aspirations of two people. Right. So, and I believe that these two people could live together maybe in two states or even in one state. Hmm. Okay, let, let's, get, let's talk about facts, right? Because the facts are that 25 days before Hamas even launched a rocket, 25 days before that happened, Al-Aqsa compound was stormed. And Vice News has done a very good piece on this. You can watch it, it's a 20 minute piece. And in that, they show that actually Al-Aqsa was stormed. There was bullets being fired, tear gas being shot. Uh, people were being dispersing. You see women bleeding, okay? And of course you have Sheikh Jarrah as well. And Sheikh Jarrah is, and, and this is very important people to understand. According to the UN, this whole East Jerusalem area is not under Israeli, uh, it's not part of Israel for all intents and purposes. Now my point is this, is why is it, you talk about reasons, for me the reasons are very clear, it's provocation. Just like you know there's the Wailing Wall and other sacred sites and stuff like that for Jews, there also is Masjid Al-Aqsa and so on in East Jerusalem. Agreed. So would you not agree here that the continued, the continued... Perpetuation of... Yeah, perpetuation of problems in that area with the settlement. Holy month is wrong. In the holy month, but not only that, it's, it's, it's the settlements issue. This is the issue, the settlements issue. You know, it's you're not, I'm not you, of course, but Israel, so called Israel, because I don't agree with what they consider themselves as, to be honest with you. They consider themselves as something that we, as the international community, completely, they have own, their own definition of what the country is, which no one else agrees with, quite, quite frankly. That Israel have been doing in terms of settlements in the area, not just in uh, Sheikh Jarrah, but in, in the, all of the areas which they are not entitled to put settlements in, okay, in the West Bank, all of that area, that is the heart of the problem. If that did not exist, okay, then there could have been a discussion about potentially two-state solution or something. But like, so yeah, it, it always depends at which point we roll back and circle back to yes. Yes. You could circle back to point A, and then you can circle back to point B, point C, and it depends how far you circle back to what. You're going to see on the full picture, on the full image. Right. So what do you, you have to remember something as follows: right, the Zionists in Israel, yes, they don't see themselves as oppressors. I'm talking from their perspective. If you're going to meet a Zionist, they're not going to see themselves as oppressors. Do you consider yourself a Zionist? I don't see myself as a Zionist in that way. No. Do you? It depends. It depends again what the definition of Zionism is. Right, right, as sure. somebody asked me before, this brother, what what do I believe in? You say free Palestine. What does the word free Palestine mean? Mm -hmm. Is it a, is it an anti-Semitic verse or term or not? So explain to him it depends as well what the term is, is, means to entitle, which part of it. So it always depends how far you're going to circle back. Okay. That means is the fact is with the United Nations, with Britain, with the Balfour Declaration, with all of it, they've put two people against each other. That's the simple fact. Then there you have the NGOs, the non-profit organizations that come to serve a cause and in the end the cause comes to serve themselves. And the one who, who gained the most are the politicians the NGOs, the media, they're the ones who gain the most. Who loses the most are the on simple sides. brothers and sisters on both sides. Okay. Children and, yep. and, and, and women and never mind even children, simple adults are the ones who suffer. But, but, but you know, can I just, I don't, I'm so sorry. Yeah. You know what it is? Yesterday we went to go to screen here and we had a van, we hired a van and we were just showing images of what's happening here. Um, and to me, look, it's, it's be it Israeli kids or not, but we came across a very disturbing comment, which was like one of the, 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 the people there said that they brought it on their self. Yeah, and, so one of one guys said that today, I think. So. And, but you're, you see, you're seeing something you know totally different. And we went there, we didn't go there to be hostile. Police came in like, bruv, it's like 
It's like they were there, but they just uh, vanished and uh, appeared in two seconds. And they came, and the thing but is... But Ali, brother, you know that it's a charge time, yes? So yeah. people who don't know you and don't know Mohammed Ijab, yeah. and he looks quite intimidating, yeah. Yeah. even if we know that he's a cuddly bear. <laughs> yeah. but they, then people people always go on the offensive. That's the, no, that's know, the nature but, but of... But we didn't do anything offensive. No, I know. You don't have to do anything offensive. Yeah. The charge, the, 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 the automatic charge that you have in society yeah. today is, yeah. the fact it's been after the car that, that, that drove the past, rally. the car rally that drove past, and oh, shouted yeah. what they shouted at, at that, I yeah, always say is it's far easier even without right? all these. But if you come but, and but, show those pictures in this yeah. particular location, it was a sense No, no we went. We did, yeah, a, we did, yeah, a, we did no. a public one, and did, we did a yeah, public. I agree. I agree. And we did one with the Jewish. And, and that's why I would condemn anyone on any side but they who just says you know, that. You know, I know, and that's one thing I condemn anyone on any side yeah. who, yeah, who, who makes who makes who makes trivial or or could laugh or or say anything about about children, women. Anyone at all. But you, and that I would agree 100%. Your tone, look, this is what I'm saying. We went there to, because I wanted to But I'll tell you why I have this tone, because why? we have met each other and we know that okay, we look, come look, in peace. Look, even, even, even if we want to get back to the point. Yes, yes, but even if, otherwise I, we're gonna okay, even it. if you, I'm going to give it back here. Even if, you, if, even if I didn't meet you, when it comes to the killing of children, someone walked past the van and what, said, what, is that no, Afghanistan? I want to go and back I said, no, that's your terrorist thing. Because if you're going to walk up and say, is that Afghanistan? You know that he wasn't being cynical. He was probably pointing out the fact that a lot of times there are pictures in circulation. Yeah. that are pictures from many years ago or from different locations that are being circulated on social media or even by prominent people but he's, he's which are by pictures saying which, are, which are just no, he knows this is Israel he it's doesn't know because there's a lot of times you know right and we all know there's a, there are a lot of times that pictures are circulated that are from different events, different, different events, different, different locations, and are there to intentionally create misinformation. Okay, but if, 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 you, had, if, if you had a van where, if 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 if, 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 all those people, I can't yeah. say all of them, yeah. but most of them. Yeah. And uh, we don't have meet all them these in a cameras, cafe. meet, meet them, them in a cafe. cafe. I promise you, Ali, you would agree with them on 95% of on anything on okay. every topic. Let, and that's let, what I believe let's, let's go back would have to the, been. Look, and and look, if you would have asked me before, Jack, go to Golda Street and do it, let, let, I would tell you, Ali, I, it's probably a bad Aaron, idea. Aaron, Aaron, okay. sorry. I listen. need to go. Um, you guys carry on. Yeah. We'll be in touch. No problem. Okay, we'll see you again. Okay, Aaron. Sorry. Aaron, look, let's not be around the bush. There's clearly, there is clearly an anti-Arab sentiment in Israel. As there may be a very clear anti-Semitic uh, sentiment in the Arab world, right? Depends, depends on which end of Israel you look. If you talk politically, if you want to talk about the 1.7 million Arabs that live in Arab Israel, live there, enjoy all their freedom. They don't enjoy all Look, let's be honest, please. Okay, let's put it this way. Mohammed, let's take, let's take simple facts and let's take a slow. And let's go back. Yeah. And the simple fact is this: take the Israeli, the Israeli way of they, where they view it. Now, if you ask a simple Israeli, do you agree with the two-state solution? Probably, most of them would say yes. Maybe it will happen. Maybe it will happen. Subject to the terms, but would agree in, in some form. Now, to take the reverse, I want to go to the next question. If you'd ask an Israeli, do you think the Palestinians would want and accept an Israeli state? Their belief, I don't think it's true, their belief would be is, no they don't. And they would back it up with simple arguments as follows. They would say is that, the, that from the creation of the State of Israel, for example, in 1948, 1948 from the creation of the State of Israel, when the West Bank was under Jordanian control, and when, the, and when uh, Gaza was under Egyptian. Egyptian control, the Palestinians never claimed being oppressed under the rule of those okay. two countries. Uh, let, just, me, let me just get it yeah, to yeah. a point. These are assertions though, and they're Yes, I, I'm, no, I'm just saying yeah. what... what yeah. They, I'm just giving you the concept where they come from. I'm not saying it's true. I'm yeah. just giving you the background from the way they see it. The next thing they see is that when you go, when the Palestinians start shouting, they see something said from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. So the way they view it, and they back it up with the charter, for example, from Hamas, that the Palestinians do not want a Jewish state in any shape or form. Uh, okay. Now, so when they ask me, is free Palestine yeah. a, a Palestinian cause and anti-Semitic cause, when you asked me before one of your brothers, yes, yeah. I told him it depends what it means. Okay. If it means a Palestinian state, Palestine. then sure, there should be a Palestinian okay. state. Yeah. Or, guys, guys, we have a discussion. Otherwise, say free Palestine, then you continue.
right, cool. Okay, and then you if you're going to ask me if it means <laughs> not in Israeli state, then yes, right. I'll tell you. Okay. You've spoken for a long time. Yes. Okay, and I have given you the, the chance to do that. Sure, so brother. Okay, listen. You've, you've said, you've talked about the Balfour Declaration, then you talked about, you've alluded to the 48 war and the 67 borders, all right? You've alluded to those things. Let me, let me be very straightforward here. Let's Go talk ahead. about the facts. First and foremost, when the Balfour Declaration took place, it was one country promising to a second country the land of a third country. Now, under any worldview, I'm sure in Judaism or in um, Islam or liberalism. Stop or, you at the no, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because I've, I've let you speak for five minutes. Look, the fact is, Chaim Wiseman and other members of the uh, Zionist movement. Yeah, sorry. Chaim Wiseman and other members of the Zionist movement. Uh, we're saying oh. in English, right? Okay, listen, please. Uh, I've, let you, I've let you speak, speak, so just try and listen to me for a bit. Yeah? Chaim Wiseman and other members of the Zionist movement in this country, when they sent letters all right, to British authorities, and then there was the Balfour Declaration 1917, it was just that. One country promising a second people, the land of a third people. And what's important at this point is to realize that British, the, uh, the British did not have a mandate in Palestine at this time. The mandate, mandate in Palestine started two years afterwards, okay? So this was the, the Ottoman Empire. So it's now Britain talking about how they're going to manage parts of the Ottoman Empire. This isn't, by all intents and purposes, not even colonial. This is, this is hyper-colonialism. You're talking about a country you don't even have under your colonial control. And you're promising that country, which you don't even have in your colonial control, the, to another people, you see? I don't see how in any way, shape or form anyone can justify, well, this is somewhat legitimizes the state of Israel. In the, the, if you look at a book, for example, The Struggle for Par Palestine, written by a Jew, uh, uh, Huritz. Huritz, it's a classic book on this topic. You'll see in the 30s what happened, okay? In the 30s what happened is that there was a uh, immigration of the Jewish population into what is, the, what is called Israel today. Uh, And obviously, it was a Palestine area. This is, was uh, from people in Russia, people in, Jews in Russia, Jews in Germany. And obviously, in 1933, when, uh, Nazi, uh, when uh, Hitler became the Chancellor of the Exchequer, and 1934, when the Nuremberg Laws came into place, this went up, according to Huritz, 140,000. Okay, according to Huritz, 140,000 people went into Palestine. Okay, now imagine this mass population of a country uh, which can't actually cope with that, which start, which sparked something called the 1936, the Arab Revolt. 1939, you had the white paper, okay, and then you had terrorist activity, we talk about Hamas, but let's not forget that you had terrorist activity by the Irgun and by the Haganah and by Levi, and that terrorist activity was rewarded by the British Empire, which in 1946 culminated, of course, in the King David Hotel bombing, which was the targeting of civilians, 1948, after the, after the resolution, in 1947 by the UN, 1948, May the 13th, I think it was, Ju uh, Israel became what it is today. Now, I don't know why it would be against morality or against liberalism or against your worldview or my worldview to say, actually, the way in which your state came into being, was established, was completely immoral in every single way, shape or form. The only thing you guys really have to say about that is that, well, we have a, we were there in 70 AD. No, you weren't. They weren't there. Okay, just calm down for a second, please. <laughs> please, please, bro, please. If, okay, you were there in 70 AD. There was a siege of Jerusalem, very well known. Hebron the king and so on. Now we talk about ancient history. Here, the Normans were here. You know, we always talk about Hastings. Let's talk about the fact that the Romans were here. Okay, there was the Gal Gallic, what's it called? The Gallic Wars or whatever, in, in, uh, before Christ. So some Ital Italian guy comes and says, we're Roman, we have rights to Britain. This is the ridiculous nature of the claim. No one makes these, you have to understand guys, no one makes these claims except for Zionists. Understand that. No one uh, legitimizes, okay, the, 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 the status of a state based on the fact that there's archaeological evidence from 1,400, 6,000 years ago, whatever it was, 3,000 years ago, 2,000, whatever it was. Yeah? No one does that. Now, you guys are doing that. That's very well and good. But the point is, you have to understand, this is, for all intents and purposes, it's a catastrophic, yes, oppressive way in which a state has been established. I've made this example before and I'll say it again. If ISIS, and I'm going to make an even more inflammatory comment today, 
I'm going to make a very inflammatory and controversial. I, wallahi, I, I want you to react to it. The way that ISIS conquered land, which is monstrous and condemnable and diabolical and megalomaniacal and unacceptable. I like the adjectives. Yes, no, just so that there's no, is no equivocation. I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying, right? The way that they established land in the times that they did was more noble, even though it was ridiculous, than the way you did it. Do you know why? Not you, but the way the Zionists did it. Do you know why? Because at least they fought for it themselves. The, the, the Zionists relied on the fighting of, of the British Empire. With all due respect, you needed American backing, the UN backing. You needed your... your, your, your I, I think that, sorry, Israel is a bastard state. And what I mean by that, it doesn't have a father. In fact, it's a product of one night stand of the UN and the British Empire. Israel does well, not have... Fact, fact, may, may, may no, please, let me finish. Please, 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 bro, please. So let, me, let, me, let, me just, let me just finish. Let me finish. The, it is a bastard state. Okay, I'm being very straightforward. I don't want to give you two faces and lie to you. Why on earth? Should we, we should appease this, oh, you should have the 1967 borders. Who said after the Second World War that you're allowed to conquer uh, territories? Who said that? You guys are part of the UN, yes? Israel is part of the UN. Who said, who, who on earth said you, you're now allowed to conquer territories? So the fact that you, the 1967 borders are what is being referred to implies that the new world order, including America, is willing to acquiesce to states and territories being conquered, conquered, which is the same as what ISIS have done, sorry to say, but like I say, it's less noble, it's, less, it's more ignoble, you know why? Because ISIS, with all their monstrous and diabolical uh, actions, they fought themselves, whereas you, well not you, but the, the Israelis, they needed the UN and the, the, uh, the US, cowards! I'm sorry, the way that they established themselves is completely cowardly, I'm not going to beat around the bush and pretend to be civil here. We don't need to, we don't need to pretend, oh, two-state solution. Do you think, for me to say, I actually believe that the, the, that the, uh, the way in which Israel established itself in the first place is completely oppressive and illegitimate. You think that makes me an anti-Semite? Wallahi, if that makes me an anti-Semite, I'm happy to be labeled as such. No, no, no. You're I'm, I'm uh, exactly, good point. But if, if this is your definition of anti-Semitism, if the definition of anti-Semitism has become that I can't even condemn the, the way a conquering state yeah, becomes a, a, a country that I'm ready to be called an anti-Semite, but the truth is I am a Semite myself. Brother, how are you going to be Brother, please, 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 against the people who ain't I, I know, I know. I'm a Semite myself, right? And even, by the way, I've done the ancestry test and I had some Jewish in me, oh, to my, <laughs> to my uh, surprise. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> and by the way, when I went to Golders Green and I told them that, they started uh, having a different uh, attitude to me all together. <laughs> I, I was talking to them about these things, bro, you know. And then afterwards, I said, you know, I had I'd done an ancestry test and I had some Jewish in me. They were like, oh, they, they, I saw the smiles on their faces. And honestly, this is the thing. No, before you go. I know I spoke for a long time. I'm going to let you speak back. But please, bro, I'm just saying this. This, this, um, this pathetic use of the word anti-Semitism as a deflection mechanism of the covert narcissistic state, which uses as a scapegoat, uh, these, these labels and these terms, oh, it's anti-Semitic if you talk about Israel. It's anti-Semitic if you talk about the history of Israel. If you don't agree with the two-state solution the way we like it. There's 1967 borders. Who told you that? If that's what anti-Semitism is, then everyone is an anti-Semite and we don't mind being labeled as such. But that's not what anti-Semitism is. But what anti-Semitism is, is when you discriminate against someone, hatred of Jews because of their Jewishness. That's what, if you look at the dictionary, that's what it says. No one is saying that Jews shouldn't have a homeland. We're just saying, don't make your homeland on the expense of someone else's homeland. Don't, what we're seeing with Yaqub, this Jacob, this pathetic, that fat slob, you know, in, 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 in Sheikh Jarrah, saying, if, you, if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. I put the middle finger up to him and to his state. I put the middle finger up to him and to his state and say, you know what, if you're talking about stealing like that, you know, I, I, to be honest with you, we don't give a damn about uh, if being labeled as anti-Semitic. Uh, we don't give a damn about it. We have to understand, Aaron. Wallahi. The only way you will understand how we feel, if you go back down memory lane, you realize everything was oppressive. Everything was oppressive. From 1917 onwards, every single thing. You have no right to speak about anything. Honestly, everything was bad. The Nakba, everything was bad. From, from Balfour Declaration, all those things, they're not points for you, they're against you. It's about Hamas, that they want to see the extermination of Jews, or that they want to see all Muslims in the area. Who said? that we agree with Hamas on every point, or the, the charter of Hamas has become the Quran. Who said that? 
I tell you something, under the Ottoman Empire, Jewish people, and you know this, do you, you will agree with this? Yeah, we have spoken about them. Yeah, they, they have been, they were actually fleeing from the, from the, the Christian West after the Inquisition 1492. They were fleeing, running away to the Muslims where they had their golden era. We say this, we say we believe in coexistence. We, but we, we believe in coexistence, not at our expense, never at our expense. Coexistence doesn't mean you come into my house and say that if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. We put the middle finger up to people that say that or in, in, in the way that you do it. Sorry, this is very rude. The way you do it in your country, we do this as well. Yeah, we do that to them. You know that? Yeah, we do this one. We do that one and that one. Well, I, we don't agree with any of this bull, bull BS. We don't accept it. We cannot accept it. And this discourse is a, is, a, is a sham. It's a sham. It is a sham. It's not a level playing field like two sides. There's a clear oppressor and oppressed. As Norman Finkelstein says, there's a raper and a rapist. If the rapist, after get, getting what he wants, he stand, the, rape, the, the raped one gets up and spits at, he said this. I spoke to him. He said, this is online. He said, if he spits at the raper, he says, you know, he deserves to be spat at. Don't tell him, oh, you, why did you spit at him? We need to go back and circle back in history. Come on, let's be honest. The truth of the matter is this. This has been the only time for a very long time since, I don't know, 200 AD or something, where the Jews have had a, have a chance and the Zionists, let's say, to show us how it would look like if you had a state where they were in control. And unfortunately, they're not doing a good job of it at all. What they're showing us is that it's the worst time in history, okay, probably with the exception of the Crusades in the last 2000 years, that there's been such oppression. Bombing children, let's not pretend I'll be, you know. Mohammed, can I answer you before yes, I run? Of course. Number one, I can't outdo you. I think you should run for Prime Minister in this place. I want, I'm going to run for Prime Minister. I'll in, vote for you. I'm going to run I'll for Prime for Minister in, in, in Israel. Done. I'm going to be there. <laughs> Am I voting you there as well? We it's all political. <laughs> <laughs> now, now listen, listen, listen to me. I'm going to do it fast yeah. and I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to answer a few of your points that you made. You mentioned that the British, by the Buffalo Declaration, weren't on the British mandate in Palestine, but still the Ottoman Empire. Yes, that's correct. That's the point I always say. The British, the colonials, pre the state of Israel, before they even controlled the area, yes. already was interested in splitting two people apart. Yes. That's number one. So the colonialists who had this vision of breaking two people, a bond that we've had for thousands of years, were the colonials British. That's fact number one. Fact still. number two is, when we talk about the colonial Brits, occupied the, the area of Palestine at those times, which people kicked the colonialists out were the ch terrorist Jewish organizations. That's the, that's the fact. I, as you mentioned before, Haganah, Etzel and Lachi, these three organizations kicked the colonial British out of the area that is called Palestine. What you mean to say is that they committed terrorist attacks against a colonial power. No, no, no. They killed civilians. All right. So let's be honest. 1940. I'm not justifying it. Good, good. In no, no way at all. I'm just right, taking good. the fact of who yeah, kicked yeah. the colonies out of that area. No, no, let's, let's, we're, let's, we're, let's be honest. Okay, let me let me uh, challenge you. Before, yeah, no, please, please don't run. Please, we're, uh, we had fast, enough, we've had enough of people running away from conversation. What I never I, run away from you. I know, I know. Do I run Why away you from keep you? saying using the word run? No, because he has to go to the I'm not using the word run. Oh, let me tell you this very carefully. Look, look. Let me tell you something. I know. Listen carefully. No, no, I have your number. No, no, I know, but let's just finish the conversation. Not too fast. Listen, okay, listen. Machayim Begin, okay, who was part of the... Menachem, Menachem. Thank you, okay, Menachem. Menachem Begin, who was part of the Irgun, okay. He became the president of the country. The prime minister. Sorry, the prime minister from, from years 1977 to 1981, correct? I don't know the exact year. Yes. Go back to the meeting. Okay, look, he became the prime, the president of the, the prime minister of the country. Not my country. So don't forget. That, All right. That's, that's, that's he the, became the prime minister of the. Listen, I want, I want people to really think about this for a second, okay? He became the prime minister of the country, okay, from 1977 to 1981, and he was one of the perpetrators of the bombing on civilians in a hotel. Now I want to put King it this, David. King David Hotel, 1946, right? Now I want to say, I want to put it to you this way: You have someone who's a terrorist. From the Muslim community. He leads a group of terrorists and he goes to a hotel, let's say the Hilton Hotel, blows himself up, shoots some some people, some uh, people are going up to the hotels, maybe they're getting a robe, they go downstairs to get the buffet, you know what I'm trying to say, you want to get a, a, a breakfast and then you know what, you get some guy, terrorists shoot you in the head. 
okay? I would condemn all. Uh, of course I you condemn. I can condemn back and I can condemn all. Good, but because, look at, no, no. But I'm just telling you the point of, I try to bring a different point completely. Not about the terror attacks where we condemn it and as we've said before, evil is evil no matter who perpetrates it. No, what I'm saying no, I'm is... I'm trying this. to bring the different point is, no. who kicked the colonials out? No, 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 but you're calling terrorists? this kicking them out. This is not kicking them out. This is the British Empire and the UN rewarding a terrorist organization for their terrorism. That's what it is. Or, or, That's what is happening. Or, yes. or I'll take it to the next step. Yeah, yeah. There are many people who say that the, that the Muslim cause, the way to fight for Palestine is... Are you comparing to, no, someone... No, 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 I'm trying to bring a point. Yeah, yeah. Is, to, is to do the same thing that, the, that Haganah, Etzel and Lehi did against the British, to do it against the, the Israelis the same, and then they will just do what the British did. They made a, a calculated... A, a, a calculated um, what's called the equation, the price of colonialism is this and it's not worth it anymore. So if, if so many people in the Palestinian community say, you know what, we'll use the, 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 the forces and idea the same means as Haganah, Etzel and Lehi work and with that we will kick the Israelis out. The only right. problem what I would say is that could work against a colonialist power like the British who the native land is where we are all standing beautifully here. The problem is when it talks about in the state of Israel, they aren't colonialists they aren't they aren't they, they are in their native land now we no. can negotiate what yeah. the word native yeah. means well, well, and how far back we go but I'm talking from their understanding I'm right. talking from their understanding no, from the British understanding no, no, let's be no I'm talking from the Zionistic understanding they, the they don't the do that the same <laughs> no sorry they're the same because no, the same. I'll tell you why it's that, a difference and agree with me at this this much okay the British could go back to Britain the Zionists when what they call home is Sion, is what every Jew has prayed for for the two last okay. two thousand years, right. 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 is to go to that land. Okay. So they aren't colonists, they are indigenous. The word Judah, yeah. Yeah. Jew, yeah. means you come from Judah. Okay. Judah is in way the okay. state of Israel let, now that yeah. is in the West Bank. I understand Bank. what you're saying, but let me just, and that's let the me point put it to you. Remember. Let me put it to you a different way. Everyone justifies their colonialism in a different way. I, uh, uh, the, uh, sorry, America, they have a concept called manifest destiny. And by the way, almost every president has believed in manifest destiny and westward expansion. Go and research it if you don't believe me. The point of the matter is this, the British Empire did have their own set of justifications for going into lands and colonizing them. And this I'm saying, just because you have a different set of justifications, it does not mean that it's not what it is, it is col colonialism. The point is this. And let's put it this way, on this point, Muhammad no, 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 we are going to agree 100% yes, yes. to disagree. Okay, I'll fine. tell you why we're going to do fine, that. Fine, fine, fine. Because we are conflating now something called Zionism and Judaism as well. And How? Judaism, I can't agree that you should ever be able to touch for a simple reason. Because you shave a skin, the hope for Zion, not just I pray for it every day, I pray for it in a peaceful way, in an utopia where we'll be able to live together and the temple will be built where it was built before, Al Aqsa and Aram al Sharif. Um, temple Mount will be built there, but it will be a place of prayer. So you have for, to destroy it? No, 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 no destroying. A place so of prayer. Wait, where would the a, go? It will work in a way that I'm, I'm not God. Yeah. I've never done anything. I haven't created a world. I just about know when I get up in the morning, what time I'm going to go to bed. I've got no idea how it's going to happen. Maybe if we talk, we might come to some idea. But there's going to be a place for all mankind. Muslim brothers and Jewish brothers and Christian brothers, Hindus and Sikhs, all will, be able to pray, all will be able to pray in that place. How's now, we could, now we could agree and disagree if you have or not. We don't want to pray in the temple. <laughs> no, but I, I said, I tell you, I'm putting it from my, I tell you why from a Jewish perspective, yeah. I'll put a full stop at that point, because for me, that is when you are crossing into my religion. Where you've, you have, you have, I'll tell you why. You've oh, yes, crossed, uh, let me cross and I don't mind if you cross into my religion, let me cross but, more. but let, I got the right to let say, me, no, no, no. sorry, let me that's where I Let me cross more, let me cross more into your religion. The problem is always has been religion, actually. To be I honest. disagree. Let me tell you why. Let, no, no, I disagree because let, religion me, will let me tell you how. There's a lot of similarities between us, but one of them is not our conception of race. There's not one verse in the Old Testament that even condemns racism. In fact, let me tell you something. With all due respect, the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, is, for all intents and purposes, I would argue, you can derive from it an inference of racism. When you're talking about God repenting, I'll stop you now there please again. let me finish. 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 When you talk about God repenting to Israel, when you talk about the distinction between Gentiles and Jews, we cannot pretend to avoid this theological set of justifications. You do believe that you are in a hierarchy with other races, and you do believe that you're at the top of the hierarchy. This is a difference between us. No, no, no. Can, can I answer yeah. now? You've spoken from yeah. my community yeah. Yeah. and yeah. I'm going to defend it. Yeah, go and ahead. And tell you, all right, Mohammed Ijab, 
sorry to tell you, you yeah. are wrong. Okay. For the simple fact is as follows. Go ahead. That means is, Judaism is not a race, it's not a religion. I've mentioned it to you in the past. There are many contexts what makes what makes the Jewish people as a Jewish community. Point number two is so it's not just a race because you could you could convert into Judaism. Even if I spoke it to many Muslim brothers, you would never heard of it, but you convert into Judaism. I wouldn't advise it to anyone, but it's a fact, so it can't be a race in that way. Why would it, but, why, but one why second, wouldn't you advise second, it? Though? And I'll tell you now why I yeah. won't advise yeah, it. Yeah. Number one, because it's tough. And number two is that's where we theologically differ. Because that's Muslims believe yeah, yeah. that the only way yeah. to serve God, the only way to go into paradise, whatever it is, is to accept Islam and that's the way forward because God in your perspective as you would call it Allah came for all the people of the world yes. to accept it through the Quran yes. and that's the way into paradise. Now the Jewish perspective okay, isn't, I, isn't, I want to stop, I want to stop, let me just finish my sentence. Of course, of course. That means is from the Jewish perspective is it's not, it's not, it's not that the Jewish on a hierarchy and the rest of the world is here. It is we all serve God just okay. in a different way. Okay. That means is you don't have to become right. Jewish like question. you have to become let me, a Muslim. Let me ask you a question. But you could You're go more knowledgeable than me in, in, in Hebrew. Uh, no, no, before you leave, no, no, you can't just do this. Every time uh, you say, listen, go, go. <laughs> Calm down. This is, this, is, this is transformative stuff, please. Yeah, this is whatever you've got to do. This is more important. Okay? Okay. Let me say, no, 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 please. Let us not dictate things to each other. No, look, now, look, look, here's the point is this. Guys, uh, listen, listen. Uh, Aaron, do you believe that there is a theological difference in you and me because of the fact that you're Jewish? And what is that theological difference if there is one? Because of the ethnicity. I, I believe there's no theological difference in the way of what we believe in God. I believe no, no, the only that. difference in between yeah, yeah, people is yeah. that I believe that all people can serve God in their own way. Okay. And I don't believe like Muslims that you have to convert to Judaism to serve God. Yes. Now, okay. and the end result is, do Muslims and Jews reach paradise? The answer to the simple question is yes. It's not creed, <laughs> fine, fine. it's deed. So no, I accept that from you. You're, you're basically opening uh, and kind of open, theo uh, open theism. It's not open theism, no. It, it, okay. it is, it it's is, a, it's a it kind is, of it is as long as you yeah. The, the, there are barriels that several rules no, of no accept, that you have to I keep, accept, but I that's accept. basically, you, it's deed not treat. What I'm going to do to you right now is accept what you've just said, okay? Uh, um, if you listen to what I said, is that it can be inferred in that way. I didn't say that it is the only I said that it's a misconception no, 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 of an understanding. But no, 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 no. well, that's according to your... No that's, no, no, what? What? You're talking about the no-hide laws. No, but hold no, on. The overall. No, no, but here's what I'm trying to say, look. You would agree with me that first, I totally accept your, uh, I'm not going to force my exegesis on you. You have your own ability, and your father is a major scholar. You have your own ability to look at the Old Testament and say what you want. You said that based on your reading of the Old Testament, that we can, you, open, you have a belief of open theism that we can go into God, uh, God, we can reach God by being Muslims. I respect that, so there's no reason to be a Jew, whatever, no problem. I'm saying that despite that being the case, the fact that there have been theological uh, justifications using ethnicity is still current okay so for example if you said to me look I and the majority of Muslims don't believe in terrorism we look at the Quran and we accept that however there are some group of people that look at the Quran and, and justify terrorism from it we have to accept that that exists so that we can deal with that you must accept the fact that there are a lot of people in Israel who are Her Haredi Jews Orthodox Jews who use the Bible or the Hebrew Old Testament in order to make a case for a racial case for the superiority of the Jewish people. You might not be one of them. What do you mean? As the state of Israel? No, no, no. As, as, as the superiority of the Jewish people in general. That the, the, the Jews and the Gentiles are separate and that the Jews, the Jewish class is higher than the Gentiles. There are some people who say that. You're not one of those. No, I will no, not but force that. I, I, I say it's a misconception of understanding the language and the way it's spoken. And I agree. My only okay. job. Thank brother for Thank talking. But let me we, just, we will, let, we'll let, keep let, it up. Give me two minutes. Two minutes. Let's, and let's finish off. Let's finish off. Let's we finish condemn off. violence wherever good, it good, is. Good. Aaron, listen. What I was going to say is this. The reason why I mentioned, by the way, Urgun and the fact that they became part of the Lukid party and is because we want to we want to show you're talking about how so how much you circle backwards. We circle backwards to the inception of the state of Israel. and We realize that you have literal terrorist organizations accepted as such, by the way, by the British, by the Americans, by the UN, by everyone, the international community like Urgun being absorbed into what is now the Likud, Likud party, who, of course, Netanyahu leads, which Netanyahu leads. The point being is this, when 
When Israel points the finger at Hamas, they have to look at their own beginning. I always the, say the, we have the, to understand the, each other. We have to understand each other and know it. Hundred percent. That Hamas had no has no different an ideology from the Lukid party. They both actually have the same ideology. The only difference is. It's, it's, they both believe in a one-state solution. Let's be honest. Both of them believe that. I think it might work. No, uh, it might work. Listen, together. The, 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 the difference between the two is just tactics and uh, capabilities. That's what you need to understand. But the difference is one is a group which is being condemned uh, internationally, and the other one is a state which is being funded by the Americans. Can we talk later on? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Take care, bro. All the best. Bro.